My name is Megan DeMille. My name is Zach Alleen. I'm going to marry Megan DeMille. On October 24th in Oahu, Hawaii. So me and Megan met a um, few years back, actually was the first time. So Zach and I met through mutual friends. Uh, my parents had just moved to Hawaii and I had some friends over. We both weren't looking for a relationship, so it just started off as a friendship. And we really didn't see each other again until probably two years later, uh, I went over to my friend's uh, girlfriend's house to go hot tubbing and she was over there just watching a movie with them and we talked a little bit. But once I started to hang out with him more, I knew that I wanted to date him, but I was kind of shy about it, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to jump right into it. But um, he asked me on an official date about two weeks after we started hanging out. Well, before our first date, I it was probably two days before our first date, might have been the day before, I was going for a trail run at Chuckawalla, and I let her know that I was going for a trail run in hopes that she would want to go. <laughs> and my, my plan worked, she wanted to go, so she came with me. We kind of didn't even run, we just <laughs> walked and talked the whole time. And we got to the top and sat there talked until it got dark for sure and I think by the time we got back to our cars it was like it was like almost one in the morning we just sat there and talked about everything life how we grew up our siblings family that sort of thing and, and realized how much we actually had in common and it was that time when we were sitting up on on top of the rock that I, I told her that I wanted to take her on a real date so it was either the day after that or, or maybe two days after that we went on our first real official date. We walked into the restaurant and there was a huge line and I was super nervous because I hadn't been on a first date for a long time. And I remember he said, Kate, will you go grab us a table? And I thought, no, I don't want to grab us a table. I'm nervous. I don't want to do anything. And I just said, okay, sure. And I like walked over to this outdoor um, Place and I just sat down and it was probably 15 minutes that I was sitting there and I was just kind of nervous but at the same time I felt at ease at that point and he came over and we ordered and everything was going good. Apparently she'd been wanting to, to go on a date to Zion forever and no one had ever taken her and so uh, I think I won some, some brownie points on that first date. Didn't, didn't know I was doing anything special, but she sure made me feel like I was. I remember the conversation just flowing really naturally. We didn't have to, you know, try. It wasn't really awkward, but one thing that kept going through my mind was, wow, he is just so attractive. He is so good with words. Like, everything that he was saying just, it just, like, inspired me. I know that may sound a little bit cheesy, but it, it did. He, just the way he spoke about, you know, his life and his family and his passions, it just, made me excited to talk with him about it, and that's not something that you do with everybody. Our first kiss was at our, our friend's house, actually. Actually, one of, one of my girlfriends dared Zach to kiss me. So kind of a juvenile <laughs> kiss, if you will. You know, kind of young. I usually don't back down from <laughs> a challenge, I guess. Um, so I, I just kissed her. He like grabbed my head and just started kissing me. And it was, I felt like mad at myself for loving it so much because it was so, it was just so good. and. There was totally fireworks and everything that's supposed to happen on a first kiss and 
and then we kind of started hanging out more. So we kind of did it different in that way. So we kissed first, and then we were friends, and then we dated. Sounds a little bit childish, but it was, it was good. It was a good first kiss. So Zach and I had planned this trip to Spain with my family. When I came up with the idea of or proposing to Megan, it was a little while before we left for Spain. And I didn't think he was going to propose at all. It didn't even really cross my mind because he'd made up this whole scenario of us going to St. Thomas and getting a diamond there because he heard they have beautiful diamonds and it was and he knows I love St. Thomas, that's one of my favorite islands. Apparently my ancestors are from Spain, so it's kind of a neat place to me I had never been. And once I, I knew we were going to Spain, it kind of came into my mind that that would be a great place to propose. We get to Spain and we kind of, you know, we just walked around on the beach, met up with my family, and um, we just had a good time the first day or so. And then Monday afternoon or so, he said, we should go get formal pictures taken on the beach. Like, we should just dress up nice and your mom can take them at like sunrise. And still, I don't even have any clue. I'm just, that's a great idea. And I know Megan's the, she's the kind of girl that doesn't like to get her picture taken unless she is ready and she feels like she looks good. I think she looks good all the time. So my idea was to tell her that we're gonna go down to the beach that next morning and take some pictures to send to my parents um, of us in Spain because we hadn't sent them any pictures yet. So I get up Tuesday morning. We stayed up till like one in the morning. So I'm kind of in a bad mood because I'm not so much a morning person. So I'm just getting ready and putting on my lipstick. And my sister came into the bathroom and I'm just like, oh shoot, did I wake you up? She's like, no, I'm just up. Still have no idea. So I, you know, I get all ready and we go out and it's just like, a perfect morning. Once we got on the beach, I just felt really calm, really awake, and really excited to just kind of hang out together because we were with my family, so when we're alone, it's always fun. So he just laid a towel out on the beach. He found this perfect spot, and he sat down, and he pulled out his phone and turned some music on, and we were just kind of listening to music, and I turned to him and said, for some reason, I'm missing your parents so much right now. I don't know why. I mean, we just saw them two days ago. At the time, I, I still didn't even really know what I was going to say um, until we sat down. <laughs> and I started thinking a little bit about, you know, what, what am I actually going to say? I don't want to just get on one knee and say, will you marry me? I, you know, I felt like I had more to say to the, than that. And then one of the songs ended and he said, OK, I think the lighting's perfect for, um, for us to take a picture. And so we stood up and, you know, turned this way and um, just took some pictures and then he had me his phone and so I was about to just go through some of the photos that we just taken. And I see him like sitting back down, kind of on two knees, just going through his backpack. Still, not even a clue. I just like look over. So I'm just looking like this at the sun, the sunrise. And then I, I turn around and he's on one knee and he said, let's take a, a picture um, with you as my fiance now. And he pulled out the ring and I was just completely shocked. Like I did the whole like everything. I was so surprised. And she was holding my phone and she, she dropped it in the sand and she started crying and stuff. I immediately, of course, said yes. And um, we, you know, kissed and hugged and I was, you know, emotional, and um, he said, wave at your family, and so I looked up, and on just the pier, the, you know, the edge of the beach, my family was there filming all of it. So I was so excited that they were there, and my dad comes out of nowhere. He was, like, hiding in lawn chairs, probably, like, you know, barely any ways away at all, just right there, and I did not see him at all. He comes over, everybody's crying and hugging. We took pictures. He said, I have one more surprise for you. 
so let's go sit back down. So we said bye to my family. Yeah, my phone in Spain was something that was really important to me. Um, before I left, because my parents couldn't be there, um, they wanted to record a message to, to Megan. Both my parents and my grandma um, actually recorded a, just a personal short video um, for Megan to watch after we got engaged. And it was on my phone the whole time we were there and so, because we didn't get engaged until the, the third or fourth day, um, I had to worry about her not getting on my phone and seeing it. And so every time we would take pictures, I would get nervous handing my phone to someone else in, in case it made its way back to Megan. But I handed, I went to hand my phone to her mom and it, I think it was my fault. She took the blame for it, but I, I think it was my fault. And it slipped and landed just perfectly on, on its face and shattered. <laughs> and so I kind of panicked. I was like, oh no. And at that point, I kind of just told her mom, I was like, hey, my, my phone, I know my phone's broken, but this is, what was on it and this is why it's kind of important that we find a spot to get it fixed. We, we ended up getting it fixed at a, a place by some miracle. No one there spoke any English, so. <laughs> and so we watched the videos and I barely remember them. I was crying, I was so happy. It was um, Zach's parents and his grandmother. So we watched that together and then we just watched the rest of the sun come up and then we headed back and my family had breakfast for us and we just kind of spent the day um, you know, celebrating. What I'm looking forward to most about being married to Zach is just being able to spend a lot of time together and pretty much just start our lives. It, we're at that stage where we're just so ready to, you know, build our home together and, you know, build a life together. These, these last few weeks, actually probably this last month, I, I think it may be because I'm engaged and I am getting married, but I've, I've come to, to understand how important life is and how important it is to, to have your happiness. So I'm really looking forward to just the simple things like making dinner together and going on dates and traveling, that kind of thing. I'm so excited. She makes me happier than anyone I've ever met and so I can't think of anything really better than spending my life with someone that, that makes me that, that happy and, and feel that way. Zach, from the moment I met you, I knew that I wanted to be with you forever. I feel so blessed to have you in my life and I truly feel like you're my soulmate. I look forward to being with you every day, um, enjoying the simple things of life as well as traveling and pretty much everything and experience every, everything with you. I, I want you to know how much I love you, how much I care for you and I'll always be there and I'll always support you in whatever you need. I thank you for just being a constant companion for me and for loving me. And I hope that I can be the best wife for you. Um, I know I'm definitely gonna try to. I love you more than anything, babe. I can't wait to marry you. Megan, I truly do love you more than anything on this planet. And I can't wait to spend my life with you. I, uh, I look forward to our future together building a family and, and growing old together and doing all the things that we'd love to do. Uh, I know 
we're both active and we're gonna stay active. Uh, I think through, throughout the rest of our lives. And, uh, and I can't wait for that. I can't, uh, I can't wait to, to spend all the time I can possibly spend with any one human um, and have that time be with you. So, can't wait to get married. I love you.